the Drawing File tabs provide a fast and visual way to switch between open drawings or to create new ones. When you first start the program, you'll see a File tab across the top of the drawing area just below the ribbon. With just a single drawing open, you see just one File tab which corresponds to that drawing. But as you open additional drawings, you'll see additional file tabs, one for each open drawing. Notice that the file tabs are displayed in the order in which they were opened. But once you've opened multiple drawings, you can drag and drop the file tabs to change their order. If there is not enough room for all of the file tabs to display across the width of the screen, an overflow menu at the right end of the file tabs bar provides access to the additional files. A lock icon appears on the tab to indicate a drawing file opened in read-only mode. And if you have made changes to a drawing since it was last saved, an asterisk appears on the tab corresponding to that drawing, adjacent to the drawing name. Notice that as you move the cursor over a file tab, preview images of the model and layouts are displayed. And if you move the cursor over one of the preview images, the corresponding model or layout is temporarily displayed in the drawing area. In addition, notice that Plot and Publish tools become available above the preview image, so you can easily plot or publish the drawing. If you right-click on a file tab, the program displays a shortcut menu with tools enabling you to create a new drawing, open a drawing, save the current drawing, save all of the drawings, close the drawing, close all of the drawings, or close all of the drawings except for the one on which you right-clicked. You can also copy the full path to the Windows clipboard or open the file location in Windows Explorer. If you right-click anywhere else on the file tab bar, a smaller set of tools appear so that you can create a new drawing, open a drawing, save all of the drawings, or close all of the drawings. You can also click the plus icon to the right of the drawing tabs to quickly create a new drawing. If you have not specified a default template file, the program displays the Select Template dialog. If you've assigned a default template file, however, a new drawing is immediately created using the default template. While the drawing file tabs can be quite useful, notice that they do take up some space on the screen that could otherwise be used to display drawings. You can easily turn the file tabs on and off. To do so, on the View ribbon, in the User Interface panel, Click the File Tabs tool to toggle the file tabs on and off. You can also toggle the file tabs on and off from within the Options dialog. To display the Options dialog, either right-click and choose Options from the shortcut menu, or expand the Application menu and click the Options button. In the Options dialog, on the Display tab, the Display File Tabs checkbox toggles the display of the drawing file tabs. Since the file tabs do take up space, and most of the lessons in this course require you to have just one drawing file open at a time, we will typically work with the drawing file tabs toggled off. But remember that you can easily toggle them back on at any time.